Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Flychex Core 2.0. As you can see, we have the Core 2 on the right hand side here, next to the original Core. And it's now even smaller, measuring in at 2.5 centimeters by 2 centimeters and weighing just 3.5 grams. It's not just the dimensions that have changed, also the components and firmware. The Core 2 now has internal buffering which solves any potential recording problems during extreme flying. Also new is the internal memory. If you forget to put in your SD card, the Core 2 now has internal memory that is capable of recording flights for many hours. Also new is the fact that the same core can be used on a DJI NASA M or Phantom, as well as APM flight controller 2.5 to 2.6 and the Blade 350QX. All you have to do is select the right cable for the craft you're using. Here I'm fitting it to the DJI Phantom. Installation is simple. Take off the lid, undo the GPS cable, and now plug in the new cable that is supplied with the Flytrex. Flytrex have made the cable slightly smaller now so it fits down the leg easy, as you can see. Then all you need to do is plug this cable into the original GPS pole. Now your original cable from the GPS will plug into this. Then just simply put the top back on. Now connect the core to the cable. And then tidy up by shoving the cables back inside the hole. As you can see the new small core fits just nicely inside the leg and is hardly even noticeable. All you need to do now is pop in a micro SD card and go flying. As mentioned, the Core 2 has plenty of memory on board, so if you do forget to put on your SD card, it will record it internally. During your flight, all of the flight data will now be saved on the internal core or on the SD card if you've plugged it in. When you finish flying and get home, take out the micro SD card and plug it into your computer. Then head over to flightchecks.com and sign yourself in and start uploading your missions. Here you can see some of my previous flights and some of the badges that I've unlocked. Here's a mission that I've just uploaded. As you can see, I've been flying around my local park. I can zoom in and out and have a look around and also change the satellite view. You can also see other specs from my flight. Here I'm selecting the aircraft that I used. You can choose to share this on Facebook, make it a private or public mission. If you shot any video, you can add a link here so it's also shown. You can also put in a bit of text. and it's as simple as that. Here I'm having an explorer and seeing what other flights people have been doing. You can search for flights done with particular airframes or even in what country. Here's one of my missions that also has a video embedded for people to watch. There are thousands of flight checks users all around the world and you can use the map to actually pinpoint actual flights. This might help you find someone around your local area to fly with. Now I'll show you how to retrieve the backed up files on the Flytrax Core if you've forgotten to put in your SD card. Simply plug in your SD card and format it. Then go into the SD card and make a new text document. You need to name the text document Backup. Once you've done that and saved it, place the SD card back into the Flytrax Core and power up your machine. The Flytrax will then read the backup text then dump all the onboard flight logs onto the SD card. As you can see, all of my flight logs have now been backed up onto the SD card. You can tell these are backup files because the file name actually starts with a B. All you need to do now is upload them as you normally would do. I've been using the core version 2 for over a month now, and I'm very happy with the new features. So I'd like to say thank you to Flytrex for sending me out the core to test. And in my personal opinion, the Flytrex Core version 2 is a welcome bit of kit for any multi-rotor pilot. And I look forward to seeing what Flytrex come up with in the future. So that's all from me now guys. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon.